I'm here today with Howard Jacobs, who is the father of Corporal Gov Jacobs, United States Marine Corps, who was critically wounded in the global war on terror while serving in Iraq in 2006. January 2006. January 2006. And um, we actually met walking down the street. He was walking the dogs, and uh, I knew his son, and it was a big... Um, sort of big friendly surprise when I saw him wearing a Marine Corps sweatshirt. And uh, I asked him if we could meet today and he could share with us the, um, the experience he had so we can help people understand the importance of contributing to the Semper Fi Fund. So Howard, can you share your story a little bit? Sure. Uh, January 2006, I come home from doing my daily laps at the pool received a phone call, and at the other end was my son, Gabriel. Uh, his, the voice, I could tell his voice was shaken. He said, I'm coming home. I said, what happened? He said, my tank was destroyed by an IED. So you can't imagine what goes through your mind when you, you, you hear something like that. Your son's on the other side of the world. You're helpless. So from, uh, from Balad, where he was at, he was transferred to Launch Duel. From Launch Duel, uh, he was taken to Bethesda, and uh, I don't think most people realize, but the government only covers one visit, and then you're on your own. I was a single dad. I was working 48 plus hours a week just to just to break even, and my first thought after the welfare of my son was, how am I going to manage this? About a day or two after Gob was wounded, I received a call from his company commander who said, don't worry about a thing. The Marine Corps takes care of its own. And that true turned out to be so true. Um, when uh, when I got to Bethesda, I was met by a marine liaison. They took care of everything and uh, made made things go as smoothly as possible. Um, however, Gov's wounds were so critical that uh, he was going to be he was he was he was going to be in hospitals for well he was in hospitals for a good half year. Um, from, he was at Bethesda for a couple months, then he went to Walter Reed, and then from Walter Reed he went to Balboa. And as I stated earlier, the government only pays for one visit. Well, the Semper Fi Fund came through, and they said, don't worry about it. I was contacted by a Semper Fi representative, and they said, don't worry about a thing. We'll take care of everything. So they paid for my airfare uh, to the East Coast and to San Diego. Uh, they paid fare for my uh, lodging for my meals, and I have two golden I had two golden retrievers at the time, and they even paid for the boarding of the golden retrievers, and if you own dogs, you know how expensive that can be. Um, I can't, I don't know what I, what I would have done without the Semper Fi Fund. They were, they were a godsend. I mean, I, I will always be thankful for their help and support, and to the support of the Marine Corps. Um, and the story has a happy ending. Um, Gov, who was Never a good student. In fact, he was lucky he didn't get thrown out of high school. Um, and he'll be the first one to tell you he was a total screw-up. Anyway, he started taking classes when he was at uh, Balboa. And uh, when he was uh, medically discharged from the Marine Corps, he uh, was accepted to the University of Washington, graduated magnum cum laude, uh, was accepted to all the top law schools in the country, including Stanford, which is where he graduated, graduated from. And from Stanford Law School, he is now working as the Deputy Prosecuting Attorney for King County. So it's a pretty amazing success story, and he credits the Marine Corps he's, because he says the Marine Corps straightened him out, and, and I agree, it was probably one of the best things that ever happened to him. But uh, I will always remember the support and generosity of the Semper Fi Fund. I don't know what I would have done without him, truly. I mean, you have no idea, um, you know, when your son's wounded like that and you, you, you're worried about the outcome and then you're, you know, that's your main concern. And then secondary is, okay, how the hell am I going to, you know, get through this financially? Because like I said, I was a single dad and, and uh, again, I don't know what I would have done without the Marine, without the Semper Fi. Howard, I really appreciate your sharing your story. I think it's, um, it's not untypical of the stories that we hear, but um, I think having a chance to hear it from a father um, who's lived through it. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Okay. Like I said, it's just uh, the Marine Corps and Semper Fi are the greatest. Like I said, I, I don't know what I would have done without either. Thanks very much.